Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to teach you how to make garlic steamed shrimp and I'm going to have a slight Asian twist to it. This is a very simple dish to make and I will be using whole shrimp for this, which means I will be cooking shrimp with the head on. Now there was, there is some prep that needs to be done with whole shrimp and I'm going to walk you through that. I'm going to teach you how to prep the shrimp and also how to clean the shrimp. Now, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, meaning you don't want to deal with cutting the shrimp open and deveining it and cutting the head open. Well, you can buy shrimp without the head and also deveined at a supermarket. Just make sure the shrimp that you buy is raw shrimp and that it also still has the shell on. And for this video, I'm using Louisiana golf shrimp. It's shrimp that's on the larger side, but if as long as you stick to medium size to large size shrimp, um, this recipe will work. All right, so let's get started. All right, let's get started on these big juicy sea creatures. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is with a pair of kitchen shears, take a shrimp and start cutting the head at the middle. All right, just follow the video. And once that's done, you're gonna start cutting through the body, right on top of the middle, all the way down to the tail. Take caution when you are doing this process, make sure you don't cut yourself. Uh, sometimes um, the shrimp can be a little bit slippery. And I want you to make sure not to use a knife for this process because since the, the shrimp is so slippery, um, you might slip and cut yourself. So use scissors only. And once that's done, start splitting the shell away from the meat. Because what you wanna do is you wanna start to review, reveal the, the, uh, the inside of, uh, of the shrimp. So what we're doing is really just getting the shrimp ready for deveining. And once you have all the shells pretty much split apart from most of the meat, use a paring knife or a toothpick or, or something that can get between you know, that, you know, the, the vein or whatever you call that, the poop track, uh, to remove it. All right, so you have to do this for every single piece of shrimp. And I do recommend you doing this because the next step after this is that we will butterfly the shrimp. We will split the meat out even more, which means that if you still have that vein or that poop track, it's going to smear and pretty much get all over, over the shrimp and you don't want to do that. All right. So once the shrimp is deveined, take a paring knife and start to butterfly the meat, meaning you want to split the meat apart at the middle. Don't worry about going too deep because you're not gonna go through the shrimp because there's still shell on the shrimp. And you're gonna repeat this process for all the other pieces of shrimp until you're ready for the next step. All right, next I'm gonna teach you how to make the filling. You need five cloves of minced garlic, 10 grams of finely chopped ginger, a knob of ginger will also do, and three finely chopped scallions. You wanna get them, all these all these three ingredients finely, finely minced and chopped because um, you wanna put as much of this, of these aromatics into the body of shrimp as possible. And once you have everything chopped, just put them together in a mixing bowl. Next, add a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, three tablespoons of olive oil, and finally, two teaspoons of soy sauce. Once that's done, just mix everything really well together and set it aside for at least five minutes for those flavors to really melt and blend together. The next step is to put that mixture you just made onto the shrimp. So if you are using the shrimp head, make sure you add some of that mixture into the shrimp head as well. I tend to stick to about three quarters of a teaspoon to a teaspoon of, of, the, uh, of the garlic mixture per shrimp, and that's because I'm using shrimp on the larger end. So if you are using shrimp 
that's about the same size as the shrimp I'm using, then yeah, use this amount as shown in the video. But if you are using smaller size shrimp, then obviously you won't need as much. All right, so basically you wanna put the shrimp in a pan that you can use to steam. So this is what I'm doing here, just pretty much preparing the shrimp and making sure everything fits into my steaming pan. Once that's done, put it in the steamer, cover it and cook for five, five to six and a half minutes, maybe even quicker if you have smaller shrimp. This is something you're gonna have to gauge and test out on your own. But once that's done, it's ready to be served. Now I like to eat my shrimp with a bit of rice. Uh, the flavors and the garlic and the rice just go really well together. Um, if you are eating the head, the head has a lot of extra flavor. So um, for me, I never waste this part. And then you can just peel the shrimp, the meat off of the shell. Well, that's it. It's a very simple dish. It's very tasty. You don't need a lot of in a lot of ingredients, and it's a very healthy dish. Well, that's it for this episode of Belly on a Budget. If you like your content, please subscribe, leave a comment. I love to hear feedback, and I will see you next time. Happy eating.